we will see the next concept in permutation and combination. The concept is rank of given word. What is rank? It is the place at which a word shall appear in a dictionary which comprises of only some given lim limited letters. Okay, so we will have we will assume that we will have a dictionary. The dictionary comprises of some limited letters instead of all the 26 alphabets. It consists of only some limited alphabets. We will be able to understand this concept from the questions. So let us move away and go to the first question. What is the rank of rate with the letter AR? Now what does this question mean? <coughs> we have only four letters which are T, e, E, A and R. These four letters shall form a dictionary. And we need to determine what will be the rank of the word read in that dictionary. This is the meaning of that question. Now, as we know, in a dictionary, the words are arranged alphabetically. So, we have in total four letters. So, first of all, we have to arrange these letters alphabetically. So, letters in alphabetical order. The first one is A, then E, then R, and then T. <coughs> now we will see how many words can be formed with the first letter as A. So we have fixed the first letter as A. Now we will see how uh, many words can be formed by this. We have to see how many words can be formed with the first letter as A. So, the first letter is A. We have fixed this first letter. Now, we are remaining with the three letters. How can we do that? We have three vacant places. We have three vacant places. In these three places, we can fill them using the remaining three letters which are E, R and T in factorial three ways. But our aim is not to find the word which starts with A. Because we need to find the rank of rate and that starts with R. So let us go ahead. The next will be the words beginning with E. Because that is the second letter in alphabetical order. For this also, there will be three positions, and for this also, there will be factorial three number of words with the letter beginning with E. Now, next is R, and we need to find out rate. Okay, uh, and that also begins with R. So, after R, the next letter will be A. Let us move away. The next letter will be and the next letter will be P, but this is not what we want. So we go to the next one. This is one way of doing it. The next way of doing this will be R A T E. This is what we want. So factor uh, what will be the rank of this word? This will be the position of this word in this dictionary. To begin with. Uh, when we saw the number of words with the letter beginning with A, there are total factorial three ways, which means six. Similarly, for the letter E, we have six. And then for R A E D, we have one. Then for this R A T E. So, solution will be six plus six plus one. These are the num uh, number of words which came. Before rate. So rate is the next word which is 14 word. So this is the rank of this word rate. Now we need to find the rank of point and the letters P O I N T. Let us arrange them in alphabetical order. So they are I, N, 
O P T. Let us start with the dictionary letters. First letter is I. So how many spaces can be there? These can be arranged in factorial 4 or 24 ways. Next is N. Similarly for N, we have factorial 4 ways, which is 24. That for O also, there will be these many words which can be formed using the first letter as O, which is 24. Now, Come to P. Now, if I consider these four spaces as factorial 4 in P, that will mean that I uh, have counted all the words with the letter starting with P. But I need to find out point. So, the second letter will be I. <coughs> but we don't need this. Okay. We need to have O after P and not I after P. So, we will count. The number of words which are possible with this, these are factorial 3, that is 6. <coughs> Next we have P, N, because remember the second letter is N, okay, after I. Similarly, we can have three spaces after this. So these can be arranged in factorial 3 or 6 ways. Then after this, we can have P. The third one is, the third letter is O. Now, we need to go ahead with this. Let us go ahead with this. Because we need this P O. Okay. So, the third letter is, after that, what can come after O? That is I. Because we are left with the remaining three letters, and the remaining three letters are I, N, and P. And out of these, the first one will be I. After this, two letters are remaining, N and P. The rank of N is higher than P, so N will come first. And finally, P will come. So this is the one we are looking for. So before this, let us count. How many have come? These are 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 6 plus 6. How many? 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 6 plus 6 plus 1. That is the point itself. So the answer will be 85. This is the rank of point. 85 is the answer. Next question. Now we need to find out the rank of mother with the letters M O P H E R. So once again, the same step we will follow. Letters in alphabetical order. They are H M O R. Let us start. How many words can be formed using this key? Because we need to omit all these type of words before M comes as the first letter. So, how many spaces can be there? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. 5 letters can be adjusted in this, and these can be arranged in factorial 5 ways, which is 120. Then, let us move ahead with the next letter which is H. Similarly for this, 5 spaces will come. They can be arranged in factorial 5 ways also, 120. Then the next letter is M. Now this is the one we are looking for. Okay. So we need to further go into this. <coughs> what will be First letter after this, this will be E. Right? 
right? Because at the higher frame among all these letters, but we are not looking for M. We are looking for the words beginning with M O because that comes in mother. So we'll count out all these letters. The remaining three letters can be arranged in factorial three ways. Or rather, actually, there are four spaces. So, factorial four ways. Which is twenty-four. We need to further probe into this. After e. what can come after e? Or e the first letter? H will come after this. But we are not actually looking for this M H also. You know, we want M O. So we will count out all these arrangements as well. And these are factorial four, which is equal to twenty-four as well. Let us further go ahead. The next letter will be O, right? This is the one we are looking for. Let us go further into this. Now the first letter will be E, okay? Because we have the highest rank at this place, but we are not looking for M O E. We are looking for M O P. -E. So we need to just count out all the remaining positions, which are three positions. Three letters can be arranged at these positions in factorial three ways. That is six ways. Further, let us go with this combination of M O. The next letter after E will be H. But we are not looking for M O H. We want M O P. So we we'll count out uh, these three places. Which is factorial three, which is six. Next we have M O. The next will be uh, among the remaining letters. We will have R, right? R, but we don't need M O R. We need M O P. So we count out all the remaining three places, which are factorial three, which is equal to six. Let us further go ahead with this M. Now what is remaining? Only T, which is the last rank. So we want M O T. Let us go further into this. Now the first letter will be E, but we don't need this. We want M O T H and not M O T. So let us uh, let us count out the remaining two, which are factorial two, equal to two arrangements. M O T after E the next letter with the higher rank will be H and that is what we are looking for M O T H and among the remaining two letters we will have the higher rank that is E we want this also M O T H E the remaining letter will be R so this is the one we are looking for. So the solution will be we will add up all these. So the solution will be determined as one twenty plus one twenty plus twenty four plus twenty four plus six plus six plus six plus two and plus one, which is mother itself. So the answer is three zero nine.